So our next speaker is Amber Mai Hong, and she is going to tell us more about the Think Fund. Aloha. Aloha. So like Rylan, this is going to be a lot less technical than the first few presentations and a lot more about um, just talking about my experiences um, with the Think Fund. Um, I am an avionics engineer for the Hawaii Space Flight Lab. I work here on island at um, UH Manoa. However, I was born and raised on the Big Island. I grew up in Keao, um, and I got interested in science from a very young age. Um, so a little bit of background about me. The reason I'm talking today about the Think Fund and robotics is because I participated in robotics as a child. Um, so in high school, robotics really started to be a thing in, um, on Hawaii Island. We originally had two teams um, on Oahu from when I was in middle school, and I had heard about all these cool things that they were doing. Um, by that point, I had already wanted to be an engineer. My mother was in a wheelchair, and she passed away last year. She was one of my biggest inspirations for going into engineering because um, I wanted to find ways to help um, help her and help my father. So a lot of what I did, I found out later through internships um, with the Akamai program, was that uh, was I was making little instruments, and that was very relatable to what the instrumentation team on basically every telescope does, which is trying to make things a little bit easier um, for the people who need it. Um, and this eventually led to me being an avionics engineer for um, building small satellites and helping to interface different instruments um, with the rest of the system. So Robotics in Hawaii, like I said, it started in 2000 um, with two Hawaii teams on Oahu, McKinley High School and, um, oh my gosh, why am I blanking? <laughs> <laughs> McKinley High School is the, the school that I mentor. <laughs> so, you know, that's the more important one. Just kidding, just kidding. Um, <laughs> It started with two robotics teams with the first robotics program. Um, now Hawaii is one of the, uh, it has the most per capita, or one of the highest per capita in the US. Um, we, and the Think Fund is a huge part of that. Um, when I was in robotics, it was really hard to come up with the money for these programs. And um, so there's nine different robotics programs and competitions and two main ones in Hawaii. There's FIRST and VEX Robotics, which is what I will be talking mostly about. Um, we have over 20,000 robotics alumni in Hawaii. Um, and so when I was in high school, I was able to participate in FIRST Robotics. And um, the Think Fund sponsors several Big Island teams um, doing the FIRST Robotics on the bottom. Um, so that's the First robotics challenge, you build 120 pound robots, it works cooperatively um, in a team of three against three other robots. And everyone thinks it's battle bots, but it's really about completing a task within um, and building this robot up from the ground in six weeks. So it makes, um, it's a good training opportunity for students. When I was in school, we didn't have FLL, which is first Lego League, um, or first tech challenge, um, which is for elementary and middle schoolers. Um, the Think Fund really helps to support these students to be able to learn more about how to manage money, how to find money, um, how to build robots, how to work as a team, and um, just how all the different components of things that go really hand in hand with astronomy. Um, the other big program that I'm also very involved with is VEX Robotics. Uh, we have a huge VEX Robotics, um, we have a huge amount of teams. Um, I'm at competitions during uh, the fall semester, basically every weekend. There are so many different tournaments. Um, so I help out both on the Big Island where I'm from and here. And um, it's for students in grades 3 to 12, um, there are over 1,500 students that participate statewide. And many teams um, qualify for the World Championship. We have um, one of the largest amounts of teams going to the world from this state. Um, so robotics is really important, and it's really important to building 
that pipeline. So if you look at that first picture, um, this is our team that built the first satellite, HIACASAT, um, at our Hawaii Space Flight Lab. As you can tell, a lot of the people in this picture are not Native Hawaiian. Um, and they're not part, or they, they were not from underrepresented groups. <coughs> However, this is changing. Um, most of the robotics students, um, I follow them, I like work, interact with them on a regular basis and I interact with their teachers. Once they come to UH Manoa for um, engineering or for school in science, um, I try to encourage them to work in our lab. And so we've had a number of different local and Native Hawaiian students work with us through the years. And um, progressively, we've been getting more and more from the robotics programs. These students um, are able to do a lot of things that most undergraduates um, aren't believed to be capable of. And so we are able to train them to be better engineers and scientists, and we can get them to understand how to work together because a lot of times engineering and science happens in two different closed doors and we need to bring those together. So um, getting the students to kind of learn how to do that at a very early age and very early into the research is super important. And the picture on the bottom there is of my 1U CubeSat team in Hilo. Um, they are building a 1U CubeSat that will launch on the Firefly Alpha rocket, hopefully sometime this year. That has been a very interesting challenge. It's given me a lot of headaches, and I stayed up a long time working on their robot or on their satellite. But satellites are basically space robots, so I'm trying to get that across to the students. It's getting them super excited, um, and I hope that that is able to continue. Um, I was also a participant of the Akamai internship program. Um, it's been running for over 15 years. Uh, the reason I know that is because about 15 years ago, um, I learned about the Akamai Internship Program while I was interning at Joint Astronomy Center in Hilo. Um, there are a number of alumni like Rylan and I, um, and we're most a lot of us are working in high tech jobs now. Um, so the Akamai Program is super important for us, and it would not be possible without the Think Fund. So um, the Think Fund stands for the Hawaii Island New Knowledge Fund, and it impacts a lot of people. As you can see up here, here's the statistics. Um, you guys have also seen this um, image before. Um, you probably you might see it again, but it's all of its different programs that the Think Fund has, uh, has sponsored. Um, it's super important for these robotics teams because the elementary school to have to pay hundreds of dollars, whereas the high schools are paying thousands of dollars per year to help educate these students. Um, and it's very cool that the Think Fund is able to sponsor not just robotics, but other programs as well. And in conclusion, I just wanted to say that uh, it's more than just robots. We're teaching kids life skills, and I'm very grateful for the Think Fund and TMT um, being able to do that. Um, getting that hands-on STEM experience is so key to building great engineers and scientists. Um, and STEM and STEAM education is a is an important part of our legacy and our history in Hawaii and Hawaiian culture. Um, and funding for STEM education is 100% necessary for Hawaii's future. In order for us to proliferate ourselves as a people, we need to continue to move forward. Thank you. We have time for a couple questions. Do I see any? Well, while you're thinking of questions, I'd like to know what you did after you finished with all your robotics in high school, like where you went to college and what your career path was done. So I went to the University of Hawaii at Manoa. I majored in electrical engineering. Um, as a freshman, I was in, I joined the Native Hawaiian Science and Engineering Mentorship Program. And they strongly encouraged me my freshman year, even though I wasn't doing so great in school, to apply for the Akamai Internship Program. They were like, you already interned at one observatory. You should absolutely try to uh, apply for this. So I got into Canada France Hawaii Telescope, and I was um, working on the observatory automation project. Um, also in my freshman year, I joined 
a small satellite team. Um, it was my third day of college. I met one of the people in my English class. They were like, hey, I heard you did robotics. You should try to do some small satellites. It's space robots. And I said, mm, that sounds cool. So, and ever since then, I've been working on it, so, um, working on that. So I've been doing small satellites for over a decade, well over a decade at this point. Um, and it's just been a ton of fun. Yes, small satellites are definitely fun. I've been doing it myself. Any more questions? One more? Okay, well, let's thank our speaker again.